today we're going to talk about fair trade. Are you freaking kidding me? You're really going to do jazz hands? I'm going to do it myself. Whoa. That hurt. That hurt a lot. But you know, I understand your professional reputation among the monsters, so I'm going to let you do it just this one time. Just this one time. All right, I just have to do a vocal exercise uh, really quick because, you know, that's what professionals do, not guys that do jazz hands. Me, 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 me. <coughs> According to Flowsit, an independent auditing agency, Fair Trade was set up to create fair partnerships in global supply chains. It means a better deal for producers and workers. For instance, through minimum price guarantees and the fair trade premium, which can be used to invest in local infrastructure, healthcare, or social projects. It gives consumers a direct way to help reduce poverty around the world. So, what does this look like in real life? A coffee farmer in a developing nation is growing coffee. One day, a foreigner comes through his village and says, Hey, what if I told you that you could get more money for your coffee? How? Well, if you pay some money for a certification along with the other farmers in your village, we can simply charge more using this fair trade label. How am I going to pay the certification fee? I can't afford it. Don't worry. We will find donors or get a loan. Okay, sounds good. The foreigner goes home and makes some calls to fundraise the money to pay the certifying body. Months later, an inspector arrives going over working conditions and drafting contracts, ensuring that all factors of the business meet certification standards. Interviews are conducted, and in the end, the farmer and his business are certified. See, Russell, that's the way you do it when you're a freaking Academy Award winning monster. Subscribe. <laughs>